Carpe Diem guys, Safety Liner C2 here. Been a little while since I've done a uh, ROR video, about three weeks or so, or at least uh, that's what it said on my channel. So I figured I would uh, do one. So I've been waiting to do one on the MP on a multiplayer, but no one has been on. I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, but really, there's not a lot of people on the servers. Um, you know, whenever I do go try and record, I generally try and record whenever people are on the servers. And, you know, I've wanted to record once or twice. Um, and, you know, no one's on. So I was just like, you know what? No one's on today. Screw it. So here I am. Um, this is a map that I haven't been on in I don't even know how long. Uh, it's called Torrington, so we're just going to go ahead and explore it a little bit to see what all this map has to offer. And today I am rocking a requested bus to the B700, which is something that a lot of people have been waiting for. Um, I've done multiple videos with it, but apparently a lot of y'all like this bus. It's some of y'all's favorite buses, or your favorite bus, so, um, yeah. Um, a lot of y'all have been asking about all of my different trips that I've been taking. All of them have went well, um, because I haven't really been updating y'all on that, but those have been, those were pretty good, and I'll be ranting about those later in the video, but otherwise, yeah, it's just, you know, just screwing around. Um... I haven't really been doing much this past week, just kind of relaxing, um, just doing some, I've been doing some work around the house, you know, um, I came home, um, to find a bathroom door completely locked, the one right next to my bedroom, so, you know, whenever I need to go to the bathroom at 2 a.m. in the morning, I would, you know, it's nice to have a bathroom right next to you, but... You know, I had to go downstairs and blah, blah, blah. So I, you know, I got that unlocked. Um, changed some air filters, light bulbs, you know, just you know, just doing some general stuff around the house, cleaning. Um, so. Um, earlier, maybe half an hour ago, got a call from my quote-unquote boss. He's not really my boss, but he is my boss. It's... It's for scouts, and it's all confusing how my position works, because I'm people's bosses and people are my boss. You know, it, it's just something that you kind of have to be in to, like, you have to be in my position to kind of understand how it works. Let's see, this is an airfield. I don't want to go here. Otherwise, people don't understand that. And that's also something else that I'll be ranting about very deeply. Not, you know, I'll just be ranting about it a lot. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I tried some, um, screen recording software, didn't work out too well, it lagged up, it like completely lagged up the game, and uh, I don't know if that's the proper term, but that completely like screwed with everything, so I was like, nope, I don't even think it. It was live streaming onto Twitch, which a lot of y'all have been saying that I should do some live streams, and that'd be something that I'd be uh, interested in looking at. I don't know. It's just the fact that, you know, I have a lot of things to do, and, you know, I can't always live stream when I say I can. So if I say, okay, I'm going to live stream at 3 o'clock, and then something comes up, you know. That's one reason why I don't do it. And, you know, there's just other stuff that factors into it. And uh, but I can do Google Hangouts, like streaming from there. Which I don't. I if you all have seen my video on on Maiden Transportation, that's what I used. I used uh, my Boss Battles account because you have to be registered over 18, which is a whole bunch of BS in order to live stream, but I'm like 106 on that account, so 
but you know, we don't, we don't really use the Boss Battles account all that much, so. We've been trying to set up some dates and times that we can get together online and uh, do that, but, you know, whatever. I mean, we only posted like two times last year for the whole year, but. <clears throat> Otherwise, um, I got a new app on my phone that lets me um, keep up with YouTube. It's called YouTube Studio, if I'm not mistaken. It's by YouTube, so it's an official app by them, or rather by Google. Um, but basically, it allows you to uh, keep up with comments, likes, dislikes, all that fun stuff. Um, so it's made, you know, whenever I'm out, it's a little bit easier to check all that stuff, because I'm 99% of the time... I'm out, I'll have my phone on me, so, you know, because my computer and tablet aren't as convenient to carry around as my phone is, but, um, let's see, speaking of phones, last time I went to Best Buy, which was just a few days ago, I was able to mess around with an LG G3, which is currently the best phone on the market, according to a lot of people, and I'll be darned if it's not. It's a pretty nice phone. Um, the screen is absolutely beautiful. Like, if you just go and look at that thing, it's like, oh man, that is, you know, it's, it's pretty noticeable, but it's something that I would consider upgrading to, but, you know, I'm a droid person, if you don't know that. So I, I generally stick with Motorola. So, but if they don't make another one this year, then that's what I'm going to be upgrading to, or the G4. You know, next time I get my update. So, I usually try and upgrade once a year, but you know, that costs money because I'm supposed to be upgrading every two years. <laughs> so, but hey, I'm a tech guy, so I want the latest and greatest. So, um. Let's see, I also went to Walmart, maybe Monday or Tuesday, I don't know, and I was, my mom told me to go inside and grab a few things, so I went inside, and I found a uh, portable charger, which is, it's about a little, it's a little battery pack, uh, it's pretty cool, but I can just plug in a charger into there, and then that will charge my phone, or you know, whatever. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what's around here? So I'll probably be using that for, you know, camping or whenever I go out for a football game or a marching contest or whatever. But Otherwise, my trips, um, let's see, I guess we'll just start, we'll just do chronological order. Um, so my trip to Minnesota, that was, I'm glad I went, I'll say that, um, because I would have missed a lot of good stuff there. Um, so the first thing we did was we, you know, we took the plane ride up there and, uh, that wasn't bad, it, you know, it's, I don't really care, but sat on a plane for three hours, and here, here's the killer thing, people were bringing their phones and laptops, and I, you know, I'm kind of old school, so I don't generally bring that stuff on a camping trip, like, on a, if it's a weekend camping trip, I'll have my phone, but it's not in my pocket, you know, it's in my bag, but I was just like, you know what, I don't want my phone to get ruined, or, you know, my whatever, so I just completely left it at home, and, you know, these people were bringing it, and, you know, but then again, they've, they've known, um, they've known this stuff for a year, and I knew it for, like, three days, um, oh, well, we're probably not gonna be getting up there, but, so, I just had to make do with it, um, I actually was able to get a few clips of um, 
some stuff. I, I, you know what? Here, I'll just throw it in right here. Carpe Diem, guys. Safety liner suits here. Here, and we're doing a vlog because we're weird. And cool. And this is so weird it's right now. Swag. This is just not normal for me. Dude, there's an A and W. There's an A and W. Have you ever had an A? Look, look, corn dog nuggets. I'm telling you, they have corn dogs here. We've got to get a corn dog. Okay, we'll come back later. Fine, fine. Well, let's let's go see what's down here then. Okay. You see, I've been I've been bugging these guys about how we're gonna get a corn dog. GMC. Like like giant corn dogs. We're not getting giant corn dogs. I don't, don't care what you guys say. You can buy your own giant corn dog. Oh, yeah. maybe maybe that's what we're saying. Happy, Happy feet. Happy feet. Look at this. Look at this. It's like walking on oh. pillows. Let's see. Oh my god, is that it? Is that Santa? Oh my god, that's a Santa one. That's a Santa one. That's the one with the Santa in it. Well, look, Moose Mountain. Hi, Ryan. Swag. Hi, hi. This is going to be my 30 second video. Like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. We're video Hi guys. blogging. Hi. Yeah, we're video blogging. We just got into video the Mall blogging. of America. In Minnesota. Yeah, in Minnesota. I told you that, like, well, look at that stuff. Freaky stuff. This is four stories. <laughs> it's four stories of just pure creepiness. I mean, like, look at that, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go in there. No, let's go in no, there. No, let's not go in there. Let's not let's go, in, go there. in there. How about discover the dinosaurs or something? <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It's so good. Cookies or popcorn or both? Cookies. Okay. Okay, bye, guys. Later. So, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty interesting, um, if I might say so. Um, now, we were actually at the Mall of America. I can't remember if I said that um, in the video. Um, but they took us to the Mall of America because our hotel was actually about, you know, just a block away from it. Um, and the Mall of America is somewhere that I wanted to go for, you know, just a few reasons. One, because it's, you know, it's the biggest mall in the country, you know, it's just something that I wanted to see for no reason at all. And two, it's home to one of my favorite shows. Oh man, Mall Cops. That is the most ridiculous show that I have ever seen. If you have Netflix, go and look at it. It's only one season, but it follows around the cops, the mall cops at the Mall of America, and it's the most ridiculous stuff I have ever seen. And it was absolutely, you know, I, I didn't see any of them there, which I was disappointed, but... <laughs> It's, it's a pretty interesting series. Um, but we did actually have an incident there, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, so we got, what, maybe two hours in the mall. They said, okay, be back by 8.30 here. They they didn't come back until, like, the, the adults, they didn't come back until, like, 8, or, like, 10 till 9 or so, you know, somewhere around there, so... Um, so anyway, they said, okay, meet back here at 8.30 or whatever, and they wanted us to go in groups, so I got up with my, my group, which is the older, you know, the older ones, the leadership guys, because, well, you know, we just generally stick together and do whatever together, so we're like, okay, let's go screw around and see what we can find, so, um, we go around, we start, we were on the third story, now keep in mind, this thing is four stories tall, the I didn't really see a fourth story other than a movie theater, so I, I'm just going to keep it at three stories. Um, but oh my gosh, that thing was huge. That was absolutely insane. So we start walking around and we see all these different things. I can't remember if in the video I talk about alpaca imports, um, but <laughs> um, that was pretty funny. Um, you know, it, it was just a store called Al Al Alpaca Imports, and if you don't know what an alpaca is, go and look it up. A L P A C A, I think. I don't know, um, but it's it's some weird stuff. Uh, um, it, it was just a clothes store, like a clothing store, but um, so you know, we then make our way down each of the stores. We're like, okay, let's go explore some more. You know, we make our way down to the Microsoft store, which I finally messed with a, a Surface 3, which is great, because 
Uh, I have a Surface, just the original Surface, so I always like messing with, like I said, the latest and greatest, and I messed with a whole bunch of Windows phones and uh, tablets and computers and stuff, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, right across the way from that was, of course, the Apple Store, so Apple doesn't really change what they keep in there, so every time I go in there, unless they have a new phone or a new computer, I... You know, I just kind of, just, oh, yeah, it's the same old stuff, but, you know, when you go in a place like the Microsoft Store, they have all these different companies that are under them, and, you know, the Windows Store, the Microsoft Store, I guess it's the Microsoft Store, but, um, so, oh, let's see, here's a school up here. It only took me 15 minutes to find it, and you can't even get into it. Great. Um, but, you know, then we're like, oh, okay, we need to go and eat now, so. The whole, like, half of the third story is just covered in restaurants. And I swear, there were like two or three of the same restaurants. Like, there was like one on each level, I swear. And we're not talking like the cookie places that, you know, you find like around every corner. We're talking like the major restaurants. Um, and I actually saw an A&W there for, um, First time in a while. I haven't seen an A&W down here. Um, there's one like, you know, an hour away from here, but... Okay, can I not get up there, I guess? Um, but, you know, there were there were some old places that I hadn't seen in a while since I've, you know... What was it? Seven years ago since I've lived down, or not down, up north. So they, they referred to soda as pop down there, which is something I haven't heard in a really, crap, a really long time, um, so, it, you know, it was like, you know, that was pretty cool, just hearing all that stuff, um, so we're like, okay, they, they gave us, it was seven and a half dollars, they would give us, um, what the heck, my game froze, I guess, um, so, they provided money for all the meals, and they gave us seven and a half dollars each, so, um, for every two people, that's $15, and, uh, so there were four of us, because there were four leadership on there, so we went, like I said, we went as a group, so they gave us $30 to go and, um, spend money for food on, so we're like, okay, well, our experience in the airport, we spent over our amount, which, you know, it was only like a few bucks over, but we're like, okay, let's just buy something small, so that, uh, you know, we're not going over. So we decided that we're just going to order one pizza. You know, just just a pepperoni pizza. Because, well, hey, you know, why not? Um, so we're sitting down, and the guy said, Oh, we don't have a full one ready. It's going to take, you know, 15 minutes or so. So we're like, okay, whatever. Um, so we go and sit down right across from uh, the pizza place. So we're sitting down, you know, we're just talking about whatever. And... <laughs> This is the most insane thing that I can that I can say has ever happened to me on a scouting trip, and I think it will top any stories that will ever come for me. Um, so we're sitting down, and out of nowhere, this guy comes up. Now, this guy is, you know, an older guy. He's probably, you know, 50 years old. He had a ponytail screw this. Um, let's see, why, um, hello? Oh, there it goes. Uh, this guy had a ponytail, a goatee, um, really white hair, and, not white hair, gray hair, rather. Um, you know, this, this guy was just a little weird, so he comes running up to our table. He looks at us. And he points at one of us, and he's like, I've seen you somewhere before, I, I know that I've seen you, have I already talked to you? And we're just like, what are you doing? You know, we, we didn't say anything, we're just kind of sitting there, just like, uh, dude, just go away. We, we didn't say that either, but he's still, he's still, he's still pointing at him, he's like, I've seen you somewhere before, I, blah, 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 blah. I've already talked to you guys, and we're like, no, and he's like, okay. I'm going to talk to you guys about the most important thing ever. Do you guys believe in Jesus Christ? And I'm like, uh, 
Yeah. And, and he's talking to us as a group, okay? Um, we're all we're all just sitting there like, yeah. He's like, do y'all do y'all think you're gonna go to heaven? And we're we're just kind of sitting there and we're like, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, sure. Um, let's see. Spawn another B7. Let's spawn a, let's spawn a Chevy now. Um, so we're sitting there just like, yeah, sure. Um, he's like, how do you guys think that you're going to get into heaven? And, and you're, you're kidding, right? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, okay. So that's how it works. So anyway, so he... The next question that he asks us is, how do you think that you're going to get into heaven? And we're, we're just kind of sitting there. We sit there for like a minute. And then one of us, uh, one of the guys says, uh, maybe by doing good things. And he's like, yes, that's exactly right. Now, I know that we all do bad things every once in a while. So I'm going to remove your sins for you. We're just like, okay. So he says a little prayer, does blah, 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 you know, whatever. He's like, he's like, or actually, actually, I forgot the best part. Right after he's right after he says, um, you know, he's like, "Do you guys do this or blah blah?" Right before he does the prayer, the guy calls our pizza, okay, and I'm the one sitting closest to to the guy to the uh, the pizza parlor. So I'm just like, uh, "Let's see, Facebook notification from Tyler. Don't care." Um, <laughs> so anyway, so the guy calls for our pizza. He's like, "Hey, your pizza's done," and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go get that." So I stand up, and this guy comes over. He's on the opposite side of the table. He pushes me down, and he's like, no, no, it's just going to take a few seconds. And I'm just like, uh, okay, I don't really, you know. Um, so, <laughs> so this guy, you know, he quote-unquote removes our sins, which uh, I don't really think that he did, considering that he's not a registered priest, I'm going to assume. Um, and then he's like, you guys have been a blessing to me, and I'm, I've am i been a blessing to you, blah, 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 blah. This guy just runs off out of, like, nowhere. You know, he, he called himself the priest. So, we, yeah, or the priest or the minister, I can't remember which one. I think it was a priest. Um, but this guy was just so freaking creepy. Like, I don't even know what, what else to say about this guy. Um... So anyway, so we go and meet up with the other guys at 8.30, and we're, we, we tell them this story. And all the other groups had the same exact thing happen to them. And we're just like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And there, no one was wearing the same shirts, you know, saying, oh, hey, we're all in Boy Scouts together. And I don't even, I probably was the only one wearing a Scout shirt. And most people don't recognize it, that it's a Scout shirt, because it, you know, it's just a gray shirt with a symbol in the corner. Um, because that's what most of my Scott shirts are, they're just, oh my god, do this map, what the heck? So, you know, but, um, yeah, that, that was pretty much the highlight of that. Um, we, we couldn't, you know, didn't call mall security or anything, but, um, it reminded me of an episode of Mall Cops, and I'm not going to tell y'all. Y'all just have to go and watch that, because you'll know which one it is whenever you see it. Um, if you go and see I don't, I don't know if you're going to, because, you know, I'm just... Let's see. Oh, come on. So that, that was pretty much the... Oh, wait, there's another highlight of my trip. As soon as we touch ground into... Um, uh, Minnesota, excuse me, um, so we're, we're sitting there at the airport waiting at baggage claim, and I need to go to the bathroom, and keep in mind, I'm wearing jungle boots, okay, and I, I thought, I didn't know that we were going to be staying in a hotel, or we were going to go to Mall of America, I thought it was, we get there, and we're going there immediately, um, so I, I didn't know that we were going to stop, so of course I was wearing my jungle boots, and I go to the bathroom, and I come out, and this guy, th there's a shoe shiner over there, and this guy's just like, hey buddy, hey buddy, why don't you come over here, I'm going to shine your shoes for you, and I'm just like, yeah, no, I, I've got to go, I've got to get my, my bags and stuff, 
He's like, oh no, it's only gonna take a few seconds. Huh, you see you see the re the reoccurring theme here? It's only gonna take a few seconds. Yeah, it's only gonna few, uh, take a few seconds for you to pull your pants down and get raped also. So, <laughs> so this guy practically just, you know, I we start talking and he, he was a pretty funny guy. Um, not not a creepy guy, but um, this guy's turn. This guy's eyes turned yellow. Um, I'll tell you why. He's like, "Oh man, you're you're a real tall guy," and I'm just like, "I'm only six foot." And he's like, "How old are you?" And I'm, and I'm 16. And he's like, "You know, I'm 40, whatever, and I'm only five foot." And I'm just like, "Yeah, some people just grow differently than others. You should see my brother. He's 14 and he's six three. And this guy just." This guy just opens up his eyes so wide that they turn yellow. And he's like, are you kidding me? And I'm just like, uh, no. He's like, what size shoe does he wear? And I'm like, uh, 14. He's just like, oh my Jesus. You know, just I'm just like, dude, you are, this guy's insane. But he uh, he said no cost. He, he said it was free on him. Um, but one of the adults eventually did pay him. But he said it was free, so I don't know why. But whatever. <laughs> So I had some pretty uh, interesting experiences there. Um, the actual trip itself, it was absolutely gorgeous out there. Um, I'll be back. I've got to go do something. Sorry about that, but you know, hey, life comes up. So um, yeah. So anyway, um, so it was absolutely gorgeous out there. Um, you know, I just can't say anything else. It was absolutely beautiful. Our canoe didn't tip, which was good. Um, but, you know, it, it was just beautiful out there. So, um, came back for a few days, celebrated my dad's birthday. Um, his birthday's a national holiday, 4th of July. Um, so we celebrated his birthday at a Mexican restaurant, which is, you know, just great. Celebrating a national holiday at a Mexican restaurant. Um, but hey, no problems. You know, they have good food. So, um, a few days after, I left to go to my other summer camp. And that one was uh, more or less a pain just because of the amount of problems that were caused there. Let's just say that I almost kicked out like five people. Um, we had 57 people go, and I almost kicked out like five or six of them because they were just com being complete pains. Um, you know, some of them were just faking injuries so they wouldn't go to class, and uh, you know, they just want didn't want to be there, and people were cursing all the time. And I eventually had a nice long half an hour or so talk with all of them saying, hey, you just can't do this, blah, blah, blah. You don't want to be here. You can go. I don't even care at this point, you know. Um, and you got to understand, it takes a lot to get me pissed off. Um, like, seriously pissed off. And they were able to do it. And I can probably say that's the first time I've ever gotten real mad at any of them. Um, but... You know, you just got to keep your cool and whatnot. So I, I was able to um, nicely talk to them. I didn't yell at them, but um, you know, the people were pulling knives out at each other and uh, all this BS that's unacceptable. So um, you know, it's just come on, guys. You, I, I understand that you're not with your parents and you're with your friends and whatnot, but you've got stuff to do. If we tell you to do something, that's, you've got to go and do it. People were disrespecting that we're higher than them, and, you know, but hey, like I said, you just kind of got to deal with it, and it's not necessarily our fault that they don't know how to behave. So, we're just there to kind of make sure that they're doing their stuff, because we already worked our way up through uh, our ranks and stuff now. It's their turn, but you know, nothing much we can do about that. So, uh, I was able to talk to my quote unquote boss, um, even though I'm his boss and he's my boss. And it's all confusing, like I said in the beginning of this video. Um, let's see. But, um, 
I got all the merit badges that I signed up for done, which is good. Two of them were, are required for me to get Eagle Scout, which is good. So now I have like three left that I have to do, which is pretty good. So if I can get those done pretty soon, then I can start working on my project, which is the next and final step, and then I'll be done, which is, you know, that's pretty awesome. Um, but, you know, uh, we did one of my classes was search and rescue and uh, we had to go out and find our instructor he basically said okay I'm gonna head this way I'm gonna go get quote unquote lost and uh, yeah he was out about maybe a mile or so and we eventually found him and you know it, it's he went to a place that hadn't been you know used since the 70s or 80s because this camp is old well not old it's not old at all it's from the 60s but you know we went to a place that hadn't been used since, you know, a long time ago, so. But it, it was pretty interesting going out and seeing a place of that camp that I hadn't seen before, and I've gone a lot of different places on that camp, so. Um, but otherwise, you know, just, mm, you know, just hiking up a hill, hack, not, hiking up a half a mile a hill every night to get dinner and uh you know i'm not complaining or anything I, I don't mind it but you know as you can imagine that's a little bit of a pain sometimes um but you know hopefully all the first year kids this year are gonna be um not as much of a problem as they are gonna be next year because we're going to go out of state next year, and the place that we're most likely going to go is Georgia, so it's not like their parents can just come and get them. But So that that's going to be interesting. So, otherwise, that's pretty much my trips summed up, you know. Um, otherwise, my two incidents with creepy old guys are pretty much the most memorable things on my trips because it was just so random um, but otherwise yeah make sure um, you know go and check out Baden Transportation um, if you haven't already checked out that video that I did go and check them out we need some we have some open routes and I'm sure that some of y'all might be interested in trying that out, so, fun thing. Um, so yeah, I guess that's pretty much me, or that's pretty much the end of my rant, so that pretty much means the end of this video, plus I've wasted like at least half an hour of your time, because I, I don't know how long this video is, but, screw this, I don't even care. Um, Alright, so yeah, make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical red button that says you're going to subscribe to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down. I don't care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or I'm going to do that to you. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't get raped. Top video up here will lead you to my latest and greatest video. And the bottom video down here will lead you to a random video. So, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.